Hello everyone and welcome now to game two in this series, Hawk and Yumiko, this game taking place here on Secret Valley. And yes, I am so looking forward to this series as we now see Hawk spawning as the light blue human player on the bottom left hand side of the map. Meanwhile, on the top right, we have Yumiko spawning as the red human. Human versus human, this will be a mirror match once more. And this map is Secret Valley. Now. One of the reasons uh, why I don't normally cast a lot of human games on this match is um, in a lot of the matchups, say human versus orc or human versus night elf, most human players, I believe, thumbs down this map. The reason being, they really don't like these fountains of health. Fountain of health is a percentage-based heal, giving high armor and high hit point units a generally higher advantage when fighting on a fountain of health. Trying to take down a grunt at a fountain of health is extremely dif difficult. Same thing with trying to take down a blade master or a demon hunter, since they have a good number of hit points and with their high armor, much of your damage is constantly negated. But in a human versus human mirror match, I would have to say that this map does not favor red or blue since they are in fact the same race. Now, it will all come down to play styles, decision making, and a little bit of luck to see who comes out ahead here. Why do I like luck in a, in a factor like this? Well, it, it throws a little bit of a curve in games like this. Generally, the better player will always win, but if you perhaps catch you catch a very good item or your tomes are just that much better or you're able to figure out where your opponent is and take risks at the right time, you can come out ahead easily. Footman now wandering around here, not exactly sure where it's going, perhaps making sure that there is no creeping going on down here at the the um, gold mine that is going to be the question here so by placing this footman here he knows that his opponent is not militia creeping out the gold mine instead going after this 533 creep camp same thing over here a 533 creep camp will get crept out very very quickly militia right in there a tome of intelligence being left behind 14 17 20 versus 14 17 19 but a manual of health which is also very very useful on that archmage giving him extra hit points meanwhile claws of attack plus six for yumiko coming out slightly ahead there as we are going to be going into some water elemental creeping and now getting to level two level two also very important, you can see that both sides pretty much um, playing with the same exact deck of cards. You can see the low hit point water elemental there. Oh, he's going to go back and read his book. Very, very nice as this footman is now on the run. All right, this water elemental should just get taken down. The time life will take it down in just a moment. There it goes as the footmen are going to be regrouping here. All right, there's an engagement. Three footmen, three footmen, um, two water elementals versus one. This water elemental is bringing up the rear just a little bit. Both sides are fighting and Yumiko was caught a bit out of position here. That is not going to be good news for him as the water elementals are turning around for an engagement. All right, Yumiko needs to decide whether he's going to stay or if he's going to run. This is not looking good for him at all. This water elemental pretty much down on life. Oh, this water elemental down to 167 hit points. Is it going to get away in time? Yes, it will. No experience gain there as Yumiko just has one low hit point footman to show for again, getting caught out of position. Now, Fountain of Health being used by the footman here. Meanwhile, the Archmage getting into a little bit of an engagement here. And so far, Yumiko actually uh, coming on a bit ahead. You can see that there is a little bit of a fight here and both sides are engaging. Yumiko actually taking a bit of a beating from that creep camp there as now the Archmages are just engaging against each other again. Yumiko does have a lower hit point. Oh, there goes a footman. No, footman down to five hit points. It does get taken out there. Oh, there goes some water elementals based on the time life. And now Hawk is going to be running around in circles. He's going to be heading back over here, getting some health from that fountain of health and then running back down. Meanwhile, the footman are still chasing off in this position. The Archmage can still engage here. And what is it going to do? It is going to try and run around in circles, regenerate a little bit of hit points here as it 
and runs around it is going to regenerate some hit points rather nicely these footmen really don't stand much of a chance here trying to regenerate any extra or taking down any hit points on the archmage since the archmage is faster especially with those boots of speed and can also engage with a range attack water elemental now pushing back over here by yumiko yumiko is looking to just try and shut down hawk but that's not going to be happening as both sides are now teching into tier 2 arcane vault has been placed down there's that lumber mill we should be going into dual arcane sanctums hawk should have a bit more gold yes he does he'll he'll be able to build those two arcane sanctums and maybe even train up a mountain king extremely quickly while yumiko is going to be a bit behind since he already started an arcane vault and a lumber mill with an arcane vault and a lumber mill he did spend his gold a little bit earlier there's that arcane sanctum mountain king is being or is already halfway trained meanwhile over here mountain king just got started by hawk <coughs> as we are now waiting to see when exactly we will be going into the dual arcane sanctum all right a little bit of creep action going on now no warding gonna get taken down water elemental just sitting there tanking a lot of that damage not quite sure why it's not engaging at all and now they're just going to be running away archmage does pick up another claws of attack plus six a very strong item increasing the base damage on an archmage by about 50 percent from 25 to 27 damage that is rather high as we now see the footman of yumiko just causing a little bit of padding here as we're now going to look at the drake getting and um, taking a little bit of damage okay you can see that the drake is going to get pulled away here but what is this the archmage already coming in and the archmage with those dual claws of um claws of attack could do a lot of damage mountain king also coming in as well so hawk or yumiko looking to just a uh, storm bolt some units there goes an archmage but it is well protected and surrounded by his own footman it will not get taken down as the footmen are now trying to engage again all right the archmage does use a scroll of town portal it will be able to get away and now this might be the good news that yumiko was hoping for if the yumiko can take down the no warden um and perhaps pull away some of the the red drake he will come across very very strong the archmage now even with claws of attack um, and gloves of haste doing a very good impersonation of um a blade master here as both sides are creeping you can see that hawk has used this time to creep out um a gold a, a gold mine creep camp and both sides are just in very very good positions who's going to be able to come away from this smelling like a rose that is the ultimate question as the archmage and mountain king level two level one versus a level three now a hawk archmage and a level one mountain king and that mountain king also has a pendant of of energy giving him 375 mana maximum that is going to be quite the amount there as we are now looking to engage all right all right there goes the red drake it is going to get pulled away there's the double water elementals now engaging there and this archmage could just easily engage it is healing back up right here as well you can see that the red drake um is doing some damage oh poor poor priest taking a little bit too much damage here than he would like there's a storm bolt and now what item was left behind devotion aura on that mountain king archmage now dropping some water elementals here ogre warrior uh troll trapper is now being left behind but we could have a potential creep jack no we are not one and a half screens away both sides don't know where the other is at as the mountain king of yumiko will get awfully close to level three here if not to level three i believe they're five three three creep camp it yes it will definitely be enough um even if that archmage does get a little bit closer that mountain king will get to level three that archmage will not get to level three i don't believe nope there's a tome of strength archmage is just slightly off as that mountain king now sitting at level three should be able to get off some easy easy storm bolts and take down some units all right level three on the archmage of hawk there's the engagement is the mountain king gonna get off a storm bolt oh and um, there is a beautiful thunderclap there dizziness a crowd oh, level two thunderclap so level two thunderclap on yumiko as opposed to storm bolt and this might actually just confuse hawk hawk is actually losing taking a lot of damage during the early stages before hawk actually has a lot of spell breakers so this little bit of a change up here um, throwing everything in a disarray the mountain king now being forced to retreat there's a storm bolt though a hawk going for much more for the traditional level two storm bolt as now all the units are running back you can see that the mountain king needs to be careful gets another storm bolt on the yumiko's units as the militia are being brought over 
All right, Archmage, Mountain King does have a Clarity Potion on him. He is regenerating those um, that mana very easily. You can see the Priest is over here as well. We are now gearing up, ready to go to push back in once more. Archmage is ready to attack again. We may be seeing some... Um, more water elementals level two now level two brilliant or or level or level one brilliant or level two um, level 2 water elementals, excuse me, as Yumiko is already set up this gold mine here and has mined quite a bit from it. Yumiko is now trying to repair this arcane tower, getting that arcane feedback onto that archmage. And now the Mountain King, with some regeneration, is back up to full hit points already. And we are going to see both sides just trying to engage here. Oh, more arcane feedback onto perhaps the Mountain King or some of the other units. You can see a little bit of a flank here. If Hawk wants to engage, he needs to engage against this, these, all of these footmen. We can see there was still a town hall here, and Hawk now is at a significant, significant disadvantage since he does not have the income. All right, 55 over 60. You can see one spell or one priest has been taken down. Mountain King trying to engage off over here. Are we going to perhaps get a, a thunderclap? Yes, we do. Thunderclap across multiple um, militia, but the militia now pretty much all healed back up. There is another thunderclap already right there, and those thunderclaps have really cleared out many of the hit points that Hawk's militia would have brought to the table. The Mountain King now low on hit points, though, has to be extremely careful as the militia of... Um, Yumiko now bringing in the rear as well. All right, we are in a bit of a run here. The militia are going to be heading back to work. You can see that Yumiko's Mountain King very low on hit points. Gonna, are we going to see an engagement on that peasant? No, that peasant is still alive. What is it doing? Um, this should just needs to get attacked right there. Come on, there it goes. Finally gets taken down. There goes another peasant there as Yumiko is waiting for perhaps 90 mana to land another good thunderclap. But this is the problem. Yumiko with level 2 uh, thunderclap is not going to be able to hit near Nearly as many units now that there are so many spell breakers who are magic immune. All right, Mountain King taking a storm bolt, gonna get feedback now down to 58 mana already. It is now currently surrounded. There goes the Squirrel Town portal. Um, yes, transferring it, and it is now gonna teleport back over here. Here are all the units working together. That Mountain King is trying to hide in the back, gets storm bolted again. Yumiko may end up losing this Mountain King down to 117 hit points. It is now hiding in the backfield. Archmage now running off to the north. As the peasants are still all off over here, we do not see another call to arms. As the Mountain King, what is it doing? The Mountain King now trying to bring over the rear, uh, trying to attack from the rear here. The peons, or the peasants, are trying to engage. This is not looking good at all. There goes a disenchant as the Mountain King sitting at, uh, what, level 3, trying to get to level 4. Not going to be able to do so. And this is really where it's starting to hurt. All right, Archmage does get a Spellbreaker there. This Mountain King still sitting at 320 mana. And this fight is actually going in favor of Hawk after that scroll of town portal and that repositioning. You can see that the Archmage is just able to run back again. There is a surround onto the Archmage. Archmage may be able to get away. Mountain King could try to get off a Stormbolt. And I believe the Stormbolt did go down. That is the reason why it is currently surrounded. Potion of Lesser Invulnerability now transferred to the Archmage as the Archmage is going to survive ever so barely. Archmage sitting at level 4 with level 2 Brilliant Aura. 7 seconds, so that means that it has time to get healed back up. But it is going to get surrounded again. And Hawk does get that man right there, Yumiko, now level 4 on the Mountain King. As the Archmage is now in trouble, it, it everything is on the run here. All right, one poor Spellbreaker caught out of position. Two poor Spellbreakers caught out of position, but they'll be able to retreat without a problem. Archmage still sitting at level 3, needs to heal back up, perhaps picking up a, heal, a Scroll of Regeneration. Yumiko now currently doubling the income of his opponent right now, and Yumiko should be able to get back up to about three to five hundred gold and then once we see that we may see him actually break into low upkeep once more he doesn't want to go into low upkeep just quite yet he wants to make sure that he is getting every ounce of gold out of that gold mine without losing much to taxes otherwise he's going to be losing about uh i believe it's 600 gold um a minute all right, let's let's go ahead and take a look at what's going down here. There you go. You can see that the Mountain King is going after all of these um, units right down over here. You can see them Denny taken down already. There goes another. The Mountain King now being brought over. 
Um, also, you can see that the Archmage is right here. Ogre Lord going to get taken out rather quickly. Archmage will get to level 4 here in just a second. The Mountain King needs to um, really focus down some of these units. And if it can, can, in fact, focus it down, this would actually work out extremely well as Yumiko definitely needs level 4 on that Archmage. Finally gets it. Ogre Lord going to finally fall. And now Django Endurance, that's going to give him faster movement speed, which is absolutely huge in order to try and catch any units that are retreating. All right, there you go. There is the Endurance Aura. There goes a Footman, low hit point Footman. There's a Stormbolt onto our Priest who got caught just in the wrong spot. We do see, um, wait, is, yes, oh, Inner Fire was stolen from the Creep Camp, not from either of these players here. Both of them are still sitting at Adept Training as the Troll Berserker will fall. And I believe we will be still be stuck at level 4, level 4 by Hawk. But Hawk is slightly closer to level 5 than Yumiko is at this point. Level 4, level 4 versus level 4, level 4. Yumiko wanting to get this next fight going for him. Otherwise, he's going to be severely behind in experience. All right, peasants now making their way off to the north. Priests now making their way in. Spellbreakers are right there. There is that arcane feedback already coming in. Spellbreakers looking to come in as well. Here we go. There is some spell steal. Both sides engaging, and the spellbreakers are now backing off again. 14 to 18 damage by both, or by 13 to 15 by Yumiko's units. As we are now going to see the engagement there. There is the stormbolt. All right, the Mountain King. Uh, going to just rush on in there, take a lot of damage. What is going on? The Mountain King now just going to focus on a Water Elemental very easily. The Mountain King could get off a Stormbolt there. There, finds a, a Priest. That's going to get taken down. No, it is not getting taken down. Why isn't it? One, Just one attack there. There's a Scroll of Healing. That Priest still stays alive as the Mountain King still wandering back and forth here. Militia of Yumiko going to get taken out again as the Mountain King's are just running right next and next to each other. There's another Stormbolt. You really need to fo um, finish off what you started. If you Stormbolt a Priest, finish it off. Otherwise, it is going to be able to get come back in and heal or get healed still. All right, Red Drake right here getting in some easy damage. Spellbreaker. All right, Yumiko does not want to engage next to the Fountain. While um, Hawk is sitting at the Fountain, that would just be too much regeneration for Hawk at this point. Hawk sitting at the Fountain of Health. The Red Drake will go down. It may give level 5 to the Mountain or the Archmage. Level 4 most likely staying on that Mountain King there. Oh wow, just down by 12 experience if that Mountain King had left that Dragon and that Archmage alone. It would be a completely different story. Scroll of Healing and now Cir not a Circlet, a um, Potion of Lesser Invulnerability. Mountain King also has a potion of lesser invulnerability. Very nice items as we are coming into what may be a very decisive fight here. If the Mountain King of Hawk can both get to level 5 alongside his Archmage, then things are going to be going very well for Hawk. But if Yumiko is able to stick around long enough, oh, level 5 already on Archmage. Archmage should be dropping level 2 water elementals or level 3 water elementals. There's a disenchant. A Hawk losing a lot of the water elementals there. Meanwhile, low hit point Spellbreaker trying to back off. Is it going to back off in time? It looks like it may, in fact, do so. Already down to 74 hit points, but it is regenerating hit points. As you can see, both sides are still fighting. There goes one of those water elementals there. Still, both sides are fighting this one water elemental um, or Spellbreaker getting focused down rather quickly. There goes another. There is a Stormbolt onto... Um, a priest, both sides still fighting here, and it is looking like any priest is just a Stormbolt magnet at this point, as the Mountain Kings are finally out of mana, I believe. No, the Mountain King of you, of Hawk still has plenty, still has plenty for enough, enough two to three Stormbolts. There's another Stormbolt on the Yumiko's Mountain King, and Yumiko's Mountain King, however, takes a Stormbolt and keeps on fighting as that is looking fairly good. All right, let's take a look. Hawk now getting surrounded. Uh, Mountain King sitting at level 5. It is still surrounded. Level 4 Mountain King has gone down. And let's take a look at this. The Hawk's uh, Mountain King still trying to engage and chase after Yumiko, trying to retreat. This is not looking good whatsoever, as that Mountain King may have to be in a little bit of trouble, taking a bit of damage there. Oh, what's happening here? That Mountain King is running straight forward. And what's going to happen here? Oh, is that a Potion of Lesser Invulnerability? Yes, it is is as um, Yumiko is still um, still running running this back. All right, both sides still fighting here. Strange that Yumiko could still lose this. All right, not quite sure what's going on here. Give me a moment as I need to take this. Um, yes. All right, welcome back. 
All right, let's go ahead and continue fighting off over here. Uh, you can see that the Spellbreakers have taken down the tower over here as they're continuing this fight. This Mountain King is regenerating a lot of hit points, and with that Immolation Aura, very dangerous. Still continuing the fight here. Breakers are falling on both sides, and no Militia are being brought in at all. This is rather strange. A mass dispel is coming in on both sides here as the Archmage is now up to level 6 by Hawk. Hawk at level 6 should be able to mass teleport out of this if it gets very very dangerous however hawk may end up losing this mountain king mountain king getting very low no mass teleports back over here in order to get the mountain king away beautiful beautiful move there and there is the gg thanks for watching thanks for listening hope you guys enjoyed game two in this series please stay tuned for game three